the way that we, were, we evolved was to run barefoot. And so there was this trend you know, back in the 70s and 80s that people were trying to make really heavy shoes uh, and put a lot of cushioning because they thought that was the best way to protect your feet. But what they realized was that's not how we were designed. So if we look at Bobby here, what happens when you put a lot of padding um, on, on a, your foot is people end up running on their heels. And they end up, instead of running on their, the, their toes, uh, on, their, on the balls of their feet like this, they end up running like this. And they hit this, this heel bone right here. But when you land on your heel, all that shock is going straight through your bones. You see that? So imagine this. I'm hitting it like this. And, it, and it, it, there's, there's nothing to compress right here. Has anyone got sh ever had like shin splints before? Yeah, or uh, just you know, anyone had a stress fracture from running? Yeah, in your foot, yeah. So what happens is a lot of times that's from impact injuries. And so when your form uh, is, you know, you're ren running on your heels, what can happen is all this shock right here creates lots of little fractures, little breaks in your bones. And that you know, will require you to stay off the court for the whole season. So when I was mentioning about the cushioning earlier, the cushioning, um, you know, people just try to put a lot of cushioning right here, but it causes your body to run in a, a poor way. So you, you end up running like this. And all that shock again is going right, right through my shins instead of landing on my toes like this. Um, there's actually a tendon that runs from the heel to the metatarsals. And what that does is it's kind of like a bow. You guys have seen like a bow and arrow, right? So you've seen like how the bow is, is arched like that. And then there's the string that runs from either end, right? So when you pull that back, what happens? It tries to go back, right? Same way with your foot. Your foot is actually designed to, to cushion your body. You don't need all this extra cushioning. And so we can use the tendons in our feet, which naturally uh, absorb shock um, to, to make us run more efficiently. What we want to do is let's go back to understanding how the human body works so that we can design a better shoe. And, and that's really um, where some of the inspiration for a lot of new shoe design is coming from, is understanding how the human body works and then designing around that. This is a pair of, of running spikes that I made. You'll notice that they actually don't have much, much padding underneath. When you, when you land on your heels and there's not pa much padding, they automatically say, this hurts. And they, they'll automatically start landing on the balls of your feet. And, and so if, if you start running like this, you'll naturally train your body to run the, the way it was intended. So that's where a lot of design of footwear is going, is to teaching people how to run uh, more naturally.